Hey Randomizer, welcome to another Nikkei video. So this is the wish list, guys. So for those of you that never played other idol games, um, you might not know this, but uh, it's essentially a system where you're allowed to pick a few units in your gacha pools um, for it to appear a bit more often than the other ones. So I'll show you how it works in um, Nikkei. And as always, I'm partnered with uh, Pridewin, and so you can check out the written version of this guide here, and we've written down what is the most important ones as well. So let's take a look at how it is in-game, all right? So if we do recruit, and this is my last of my 40th, or 30 to the 40th poll, and after that, it will unlock the wish list. So I'll confirm, let's see what the tutorial says. Revise wish list. Once you hit a wish list, you'll be much more likely to get one of your wish list in Nikkei's whenever you recruit an SSR. And you can add up to five Nikkei's from each manufacturer, and you have to at least have 15 or it won't work. So you need to fill out all the slots. So let's go over what we're gonna wish for. So in this one, we'll go for Emma, the healer, Guillotine offers really good support and damage, and Maiden is a very strong shotgun user, and Privity is actually one of the more important ones because you get a single copy for free, so she'll be very easy to dupe, uh, dupe up, and she does really good damage. And lastly, it's the support signal. I think, in my opinion, uh, Privity is very important, Emma is a good healer, and the rest, you do have some leeway if you want to make changes. Again, the wishlist can be personalized, so you don't have to stick to the final choice. Uh, the Marcellus, uh, missile ones, you have two that you absolutely have to choose, all right? Drake and Litter, and I would say Pepper as well. The best support in game, hands down, a very strong um, enabler, I would say, in your team. Drake allows your units to hit better and more accurately. Her damage output has been nerfed compared to the previous CBT because she was just really broken uh, for the amount of damage and supportive property she was able to provide, but uh, she's still a very, very solid choice. And Pepper being the best healer, and the rest, you can pick between Alice and, uh, sorry, uh, Uni and Maxwell. And for the rest, again, those two, technically flexible if you want. And for Tetra, uh, you want to go with Alice, and then you want to go with Dola. Dola is quite good. Um, in my opinion, as a uh, unit from the Tetra line. Ludimilia, uh, one of the best uh, defenders currently. And the novel, again, a very strong debuffer and enabler. And of course, everyone's favorite, who is also happens to be a very good unit of volume. So after you've set your wish list, then let's do some pulls. And once we get an SSR, it should be uh, one of those that we put in the wish list because their chances have increased. So let's take a look. Give me an SSR. Oh, okay, not here. That's fine. Let's skip and it will go again. My luck was pretty good in the um, test servers. Let's hope it's the same here. Oh, doesn't look that good, huh? So let's recruit one more time. The rate is 4%. So every. Uh, when am I due for one? Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go, one SSR. So Maiden is not one. Oh, it is, yes. Uh, so let's, yes, I'm enjoying thank you. So Maiden is one of the um, the SSRs from the wish list. So it's very important because after you set your wish list, you'll be able to build whatever you're trying to recruit um, uh, further in terms of having dupes and another SSR. Ah, I love the rate, 4% is just so much higher compared to um, you know, the industry standard 2.5%. And of course, we have Alice here who is also on our list. So that's how the wish list works. And of course, you can always advise it, change it. Um, it doesn't change the, you know, percentage of getting the SSR. But, um, oh, actually, it. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. I, I didn't know this. So it's good that we made this video because it actually eliminates everything else from the, the line, right? From the Allison line, uh, Elysian line, sorry, the Missile line and the Tetra line. Also, this is really, really good. And of course, you can disable it by, you know, um, turning one off, right? It completely disables it because if we go back to rate, yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, 
Good thing I'm on a test server and good thing I can show you guys. <laughs> so a uh, fantastic feature allows you to really focus on your units and making them the highest level in terms of dupe and the power because then you can make your units uh, strong from that regard by using the synchro device, which I'll talk about in the next video. So stay tuned for that. It'll be a very, very helpful tip for free to play players. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.